Hi, my name is Mike with Side Effects, and today we'll be going over the Blast Sop. So, let's drop down a geometry container and jump right inside. Give ourselves a Blast Sop, and you'll see right off the bat that it's throwing an error at you. And if you were to mouse over the input, you can see that that's because it's expecting some geometry. Now, you could very easily just make a box or a tube and give it what it wants, but the context that you'll most often be using the Blast node is through viewport functionality. So let me explain a little bit about what that means and instead drop down a box and come over here and while in the viewport hit the S key to enter selection mode select any face and then hit delete and now you'll see that the face is gone and Houdini has given us a blast node and it has in fact blasted our primitive selection that we made in the viewport and so you might also have guessed that this means that the blast node works with Houdini's group functionality so any predetermined groups of geometry that are coming in you can select them right here and you can delete only that geometry specifically. Right underneath that is the group type and this simply tells the blast node which class of geometry the group will be coming in as, either breakpoints, edges, points, or primitives. Most of the time though the guess from group function serves perfectly well. Now right underneath that is a recompute normals checkbox and what this does is it tells the blast node to rethink the normals of your geometry based on your deletion. So let me show you what that does. Let's drop down a normal SOP, plug it in, and right here we're going to change vertices to points. Now if we visualize normals, you can see that every point has been given a normal sticking out of the box. If we go back to the blast node, you'll see that despite the fact that we've removed the face, the normals have not updated, even though technically they should. So if you want that to happen, you simply check this box, and the normals will snap to where they should be useful for saving yourself some work. All right, and right beneath that is the delete non-selected, and this does exactly what you'd think it does. It takes your selection of geometry up here, in this case primitive number one, and rather than deleting it, it deletes everything else. So you can see even here the recompute normals is working as intended. Now underneath that you'll see an option that's been grayed out called fill simple holes, and this is grayed out because it only works when your group type is set to points. So let's do that. There we go. Now you'll see that it has been opened to us. And if we check it, it fills the holes left by our deletion. And so this is a super handy thing to save yourself an extra polyfill node or something similar. It just tells the blast sop to do its best at filling whatever holes resulted from your deletion. But again, it only works when your group type is set to points. And right underneath that is the delete unused groups option. So let's see what that does and give ourselves a group to work with. Drop down a group node. Let's run it over primitive number one. You can see here that that's been selected. And let's call it something simple like temp. Now if we go back to the blast node and change this back to primitives, you can see that R1, R1 primitive, the only uh, the only primitive in the temp group has been deleted. And if we mouse over, you can see right there that prim group temp is currently occupied by zero primitives. The group still exists, but there's nothing in it. And sometimes that can get messy when you're deleting a lot of geometry. And so to get rid of any groups that have been made empty by your deletions, you can simply check this delete unused groups option, and it will remove those for you, nice and simple. This has been the Blast Sop. Thank you for watching.